really uh, one of the best views from the Arc of Triumph is in the middle of the street. And I wonder how many people get hit every year trying to take that photo. Let's see if we can get a nice one in the video. Yeah, so it really is nice. But I wouldn't hang out in the street for too long. So here we are under the Arc of Triumph. And note that you don't have to pay to get underneath it. Only to go up. So right there is where we will be going shortly. Stand in the middle. See all the way down to Elysee. And then all the way down there to basically the new shiny building downtown park. Here we can see the victories. The war, all the cities. Pretty cool. So let's go up. More stairs. This one's not gonna be too bad though. Now we're on the inside. Bye. Naturally there's a gift shop. In the middle, the Arc of Triumph. It is a really great view up here. I don't know that it's worth nine euro fifty though. Which is what it costs. But uh, really cool. If you want to get to the Arctic Tramp, you go in one of the little entrances like that and walk under the streets. So that one's going to do the metro, I believe. That one, our strip. There are a few more. But now, it's time to go to the Eiffel Tower. It doesn't look that far from here. But if you're exhausted, you might as well just take the metro. Yeah. All right, now we're coming from the back side. Should see it in a moment. And bam. The Eiffel Tower. We can go all the way up to the top. That's where we are headed. There's also a restaurant like right there. Obviously. <clears throat> Not the kind of place I'm gonna be eating at if I'm staying in hostels. <laughs> But uh, the creepy thing is, I think there's a picture of Hitler, a famous one, standing somewhere down there in front of the Eiffel Tower. It's kind of creepy to see the same view that he saw. But uh, as you can see, it is a pretty good view. Very nice day. An interesting note, the only thing that keeps all of the street people, or gypsies, however you want to call them, away are those guys. Near some of the big famous places, they walk around, and then all the street people scatter. So that's a refreshing scene to have the security walk around. I have to say that the second that I said that the police would keep some of the scammers away, I saw this guy, this little bastard. I saved one tourist from him. Uh, Apparently I wasn't able to save them. But uh, he's going to put something around their finger and then charge them to take it off or do something like that. So it'll be kind of interesting to watch actually. I'm 
unfortunately I don't have enough battery to record the whole thing. But do not let someone tie something around your finger. Jesus Christ. If you're in a foreign country and someone wants to do that, you should know something. Uh, something's up. Something's wrong. I don't know about anyone else that comes here, but the first thing I notice is that it is significantly larger than I had imagined that it would be. And if you're feeling brave, you can walk up. I don't think you can walk up all the way, but up to right there. But uh, screw that. You can go up any one of the four legs to get up. Unfortunately, cannot go all the way to the top. At least not right now. Which kind of sucks. Oh, we get a great view. That's where I was. is there for somewhere over here. So it is a really great view, but it's significantly better from the very top. So you definitely want to go when you can get up there. Not too much over here, I don't think. But it gives you another example of just how big Paris is. Not all this is Paris, but the greater Paris region. So come check it out. All right, there's Notre Dame. God, the Louvre is so big. I think Musée d'Orsay is somewhere there too. If you only have one day in Paris, though, skip the Louvre. Go to Musée d'Orsay. Naturally, you can buy a little Eiffel Tower while on the Eiffel Tower. I don't know if that makes the little souvenir more valuable. All right, so I just finished. I was right there, second level. And now, wow, look how long the line is. It goes all the way to right here. I'm not sure that I would have waited in the line had it ended here when I got here. <laughs> um, you can, it does look like, book your tickets in advance. And if you do that, you get to go right there. And generally, from what I've seen, there is not a line there. So if you can book your tickets in advance, that will save you from waiting in this gigantic line. 